Hey, what's up, fellas? It's Mike. And we're going to do a quick video on laning. A lot of people ask about laning. What's the best way to lane? Okay. The trick with laning, you know that the people on the other side of the field are going to be running full speed towards their bunkers. Okay. So you have to get your gun off the bunker and shooting downfield as quickly as possible. One of the best ways to do that is to make sure that you set your body position up so that, let's say, if I know that I'm gonna be laning down the field like this, okay, and this is comfortable for me, I need to make sure that I set up so that I can do that as quickly as possible. I don't wanna set up down here, you know, I don't wanna set up like this, you know, or any of these other crazy different ways and stuff like that. The rules say, and most especially in air ball, is that the barrel's just gotta be below the waist. Tip of the barrel's gotta be below the waist. Now, sometimes if you actually squat down a little bit, they'll kind of let you cheat a little bit because your shoulder is getting really close to your waist. So sometimes getting down like this is actually a really good way to do it. But the first thing you wanna do, if you're gonna be laning off the right side, you want your right shoulder up against the bunker, okay? So if I know that I'm gonna be laning off my right side, right shoulder's off the bunker, I pop right off and start laying. Now sometimes, um, you can get away with this, in, in, especially sometimes even in tournaments, is as they're all lining up before they call the 10 seconds and stuff like that, you can even take a ball and shoot a cheater ball kind of down the lane, just so you can kind of get a quick feel for where it's at. So you come off, that, oh, okay, that was a little bit low. I better aim a little bit higher when, when, they come off the, when I come off the board. You come off the board and shoot a little higher. Many times you can get away with that. As long as you don't shoot, I think the rules say within, after the 10 second mark, or after they call five seconds, you're usually okay. So as you're getting lined up, and you see all the refs, they're all getting ready, and they're all getting into position and stuff like that, you're ready to go, dit. Ooh, okay, I need to aim a little bit lower than that when they say go. So that's the first thing I would tell you is that make sure that you set your body position up so that is very little movement from the time that you pull the gun off the board to shoot down the stream. So yeah, I'm down like this, this is comfortable. I start shooting it and I can start moving up. Okay, next thing with laning is you might as well just assume that the other team is gonna be trying to do exactly what you're trying to do. Trying to get to the tapes, trying to get into the snake, trying to get into the 30 or 40 yard Dorito. The important thing with laning is that you need to have concentration on exactly where you're gonna be shooting. So you need to, as soon as they say go, you need to sit there and just stay on that lane as long as possible. I promise you, the minute you get off the trigger, they're all gonna move through it. So you need to stay on that lane as much as possible. Now, if you see somebody running, don't change your gun. It's a really common mistake is, is you're landing, 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 you see somebody running, you change your gun, and now you're shooting behind them as they run up the field. You wanna sit there and put the stream in front of them and let them run into it. So you get here, put the stream in front of it, and let them run into it. Um, also, you wanna pick spots that aren't too far away from uh, off the break, and they're not too close either. You know, if, if you're trying to lane, like say for instance that can, well, it only, it's only gonna take them maybe three steps in there behind that can. Most likely you're not gonna be able to get a stream over there in time before they disappear behind that can. It's gonna be go, and they're already behind the can. So there's no way you're gonna even try to lane that. Even between the can and the rocket, that that's a little bit better but you're gonna have to be pretty good in order to get in between that can and that rocket another good lane would be say for instance you know that they've got a they've got a really fast aggressive snake player you know they're going to try to go into the snake they always go into the snake right here in between these two cans there's a nice little stream right there now as i move up to the bunker that's going to disappear so if i want to try to lane there i better get down as low as possible to try to take advantage of as much cover from this little dorito as possible so i may even have to start down here on my knees just to try to get as much cover as i possibly can in order to hit this stream to hit him as he goes through it now i'm going to eventually probably after about the first three seconds i'm going to definitely have to get into home but at least i have a little bit of cover if I kneel down right away from maybe at least the Dorito side. So right off break, I start landing, 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 landing. Ah, rats, I missed them. So I get up and then I get into my bunker. So landing mostly takes a little bit of practice. Try using the cheater ball technique or the, or the sneak ball technique where uh, you know, as you're lining up and you're getting loose, put a ball down the field. And they don't start landing down the field, you're gonna get in trouble. Just put one ball down the field just to kind of get a little feeler as to where your barrel should be at. They'll call three, two, one, five seconds, then you're okay. And just stay on it 
and let them run through it. If you see somebody coming, just stay on it, just stay focused, da, 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 just trying to put that stream on there. A lot of people, what happens is, is as they see the people coming, they freak out and they get off the trigger or they move their gun. Don't do that. Set yourself up also in a position where it takes as little movement as possible to get to, uh, you know, hit that stream downfield. So you want to make sure you start off aiming exactly where you want the stream to go, then set your gun up, barrel below the waist, go. So you want to make it as fast as possible. You want to be shuffling your feet, moving around, twisting your body, or anything. By that point, they're already in the snake. Hopefully that helps.